Hi everyone, Farmer Kate here. Now I'm doing something that I'm quite familiar with. So I'm getting some milk ready to feed a baby alpaca. Now it's not Helen, which has been weaned for quite a few months. It's for our latest alpaca that has been born, but it's had some trouble, didn't have the easiest start to life. We're bottle feeding it, which we've got kind of quite a num lot of experience doing, having reared Helen last year. So I'm getting some milk ready and we're gonna check in with it and yeah, I hope I hope it's really hungry. Hey little one. How are you doing? Now unfortunately I can't share the name of this little one, but he does have a name and I hope when you find out you all approve of it. But as you can see he's drinking the bottle really nicely. He's having a few feeds a day. Alpacas they don't tend to drink as much milk in terms of their body weight compared to like a lamb would need. So he does drink like a relatively small amount but as long as we're getting a good amount of nutrients in him that's what we're looking for. Now some good news is we have put on weight so we weighed him quite recently and that was an increase from what it was the week before so we're kind of heading in the right direction. We're just kind of Keeping him going, keeping him warm, keeping him fed. You can see he's got his very snazzy jacket on, which you know keeps him warm because it, although it is warm in the day at the moment, it do, does drop cold at night, so that just helps him kind of feel comfortable and feel secure under these heat lamps as well. Something we're looking to do in the future is get a, him a friend. Now it's not something we can do straight away, just because being this young, we're still kind of compromising that immune system. And being the fact we haven't got any kind of like alpacas his age, we'd have to bring an animal from another area of the farmyard in here. And that just kind of increases the risk of infections and things going wrong. So what we're doing is spending like a fair bit of time with him, just like ourselves, making sure like, you know, he feels like he has company. And yeah, he's, he's a little, little man, aren't you? Yeah, you're really good. He's not a perfect drinker, which kind of reminds me of Helen quite a lot. You've just got to make sure you're doing the bottle at the correct angle. Sometimes you might need to hold the back of his head for him to realise there is milk that's going to go in his mouth and he needs to drink that. But it's better than what it was because teaching an alpaca or any kind of more exotic animal to drink a bottle isn't always that easy. He has gained weight, which is a really, really good sign. So that's kind of one of the parameters of health we're measuring, his weight gain, because he can't really kind of tell otherwise other than like looking at how like bouncy he is. And he does kind of do the thing where like he runs around the pen really quick, like zoomies do for dogs. And that's really really nice to see because that shows he's got kind of like excess energy that he wants to like use up which is really really pleasing. I almost can't believe we're back in the exact same situation we were this time last year with Helen but I just hope this is like the last alpaca we'll be bottle feeding just because we want our alpacas as all our animals to be reared by the mums but Unfortunately, when that can't be the case, we're here to step in and, you know, it's not something we mind doing. I'm going to get back to feeding this one, making sure he's got plenty of milk. So I really hope you've enjoyed this little update on him. It is going to be a way day soon, so we might have to do a bit of filming for that so to show you guys how we'll do that. So if you're interested in seeing something like that, you'll have to let us know. But thank you so much for watching and from me, and an animal I can't tell you the name of, unfortunately. I'll see you later. Bye.